Two guys one. obviously like each other, and the fans in Toronto love DeMar DeRozan, and he's expressed his affection for them as well. No indication he wanted to play anywhere else, and everybody there, and of course DeRozan himself was shocked when the trade went down over the summer. It's going to be a huge ovation tonight. I think so, because this is a superstar that wanted to stay in Toronto. And obviously, throughout the years when I played, a lot of guys, when you heard you got traded to Toronto, they weren't excited. You have a player, B. Wood and Matt, that really wanted to be there. But I, I will say, this is the first time in a long time I've saw individually is work for both players, you know, the headline players in, this, in, the, in the trade, and also team-wise. I don't think the Spurs, obviously, is not as good as the Raptors as far as record. But this has helped. I think he's expanded his game. Mm -hmm. They're 10-1 and one when he had nine or more assists. You couldn't have told me watching DeRozan, not that he was a selfish player, but he would be able to facilitate and get double-digit assists in the way he's been passing the basketball and still being able to score. I think it's worked out for both players. Yeah, this is the rare trade that works out for both teams. Uh, Kawhi Leonard obviously didn't want to be a Spur anymore. The Spurs were able to move on from their franchise player, get another player that's in that same, ca in that same element. He's not as mm -hmm. good as Kawhi, but he's in the same area. They were able to get an all-star back. Spurs playing good basketball, struggled early on, so it works. it's been working for them because they're playing better now. But more importantly, Toronto stayed on the same path that they were on. They're going for it. Um, Kawhi is definitely an upgrade over DeMar, um, but we won't know how much of an upgrade until the playoffs because the Toronto Raptors right. will be judged on what they do in mm -hmm. the playoffs. If they make it to the NBA Finals or win the NBA Finals and re-sign Kawhi, this trade will be deemed as a success. If they do not make it to the NBA Finals, well, then a lot of people will be looking at why did we trade DeMar DeRozan? Eastern Conference Finals not a success, you think? They made it to the Eastern Conference Finals before. Yeah. When, when, you, when you trade the best player probably in Toronto Raptors history, DeMar DeRozan, mm -hmm. when, you trade, when you get rid of the best coach in Toronto Raptors history, um, now you're looking at making significant strides forward and doing things that haven't been done in Toronto's history. They've done the Eastern Conference Finals. For this year to be a success after trading DeMar DeRozan, it has to be NBA Finals. I, I totally agree, and I think obviously it's going to be <laughs> – Really tough if you don't get the Eastern Conference Finals and you lose Kawhi. Right. That mm. could be very tough for the Toronto Raptors organization. And yet I would still argue it was the right move to make last summer because it feels like they had plateaued, and I think that's probably where their minds were at it's, as well. It's different, though, because you felt like you plateaued when LeBron... In the LeBron era. When LeBron was in the East. Now that's that Le what I say. Now that LeBron was gone, right. there's no telling how far that team could have been. We'll never know. And Lowry and DeRozan, they were a very formidable team, a very formidable duo, and best of friends, as you can see in that clip. Those guys had a lot of fun together. And with all the high-end competition in the Eastern Conference, as you said, there's just no way to know if that yep. team would have been good enough to get out of the East.